objecto seat because I can't really get the top ones unless I'm like <sighs> and I blow and enough times and sooner or later it'll fall out. And that, my friends, is how you turn old in like 10 seconds. First time I've had my teeth out all day. My mouth feels all funky. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Toothless Tuesday and you're currently sitting in my garage with me. Oh no. Oh well. I did that thing again. Where I have the camera the wrong way. So I'm staring at where the camera would be. But really you're right there. So I apologize. I actually don't like it when it's there because when it's over here, I can look across to, to the lens and still see if I'm like in frame or whatever. And when I'm staring straight ahead, for some reason, my peripherals just don't really pick up the grids anymore. So I'm a blur. Oh, well, um, I want to talk about a few things. On this Toothless Tuesday, if you haven't figured it out, it's Toothless Tuesday. Toothless Tuesday. Um, we'll start off with my, my biggest fan, okay? Um, let me let me tell you about my biggest fan, okay? So, there's somebody. I'm not going to name her name. not going to give you that much recognition. But trust me, you're going to know who you are. Um, biggest fan, right? Watches all my content. Everything. Used to. Which. Whatever. I don't really care that they stopped. But. Used to comment on some of my videos. Back in the day. Right? I started. Toothless Tuesdays. Say probably. Eight months ago. I've posted. I tried to do it every week. It worked for a while, and then I fail pretty much every time after that. But, uh, I've probably posted near 50 Toothless Tuesdays, okay? And, like I've said this before, Toothless Tuesdays just happen to be one of the biggest watch thing on my channel. And out of every single person... This motherfucker dislikes every single Toothless Tuesday. I know who you are. Don't act like you don't know that I'm now talking to you. I don't know why. I mean, I do know. They got mad one day. I don't know why, though, because I'd already posted Toothless Tuesdays for, like, a year. And then one day, they left a comment on my video being like, Why are you talking without your teeth? And that's gross. Blah, blah, blah. Being all, like, snotty and rude. And I was like, whoa. Step back, Jack. Let's remember here, you know, I am I have dentures, okay, so I can take my teeth out of my mouth. See that? That's my gums. And see that? That's my other gum. There's no fucking teeth in there, bro. They're right here. They come out, okay? So when you live like this, when you live with a life of removable teeth, you remove your teeth sometimes. And just carry on with life. There's times I wake up in the morning and almost leave work without them. Because sometimes I just don't remember that I don't have teeth in. Like, so, why do I have my teeth out of my mouth? Because I freaking want to. And thanks also for disliking every video after that. It's just made me superly excited that you cared that much. Because... Ironic, after that really rude comment, there's been one dislike every single Toothless Tuesday. I have a wondering suspicion who that might be. Actually, I do know who it is because YouTube's amazing. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about, oh my god, I am popular! Let me check this, okay. Um, sorry, I shouldn't read text messages through my phone when I'm recording a video. That just seems rude. 
But anyways, I, uh, I was just thinking about my house. I need to motivate myself. Well, I say I need to motivate for myself, but literally as soon as I hang it, well, hang up this one. I was going to say as soon as I hang up the phone. Like we're talking on a phone, but real, I guess that's kind of what we're doing. I guess it would only truly count if you're watching this on your phone. So if you're actually watching this on your phone, leave a comment below right now and tell me whether or not you're on your phone. Because if so, then we're pretty much just talking on the phone. Because I'm recording on my phone if you haven't figured that out. Uh, uh, Matt had a, a brain fart. Well, I knew I wanted to get, say uh, I need to get up. I have to clean my garage because... I just got shit everywhere because, you know, like, I'm, I'm totally the, I'm going to work on this project and then mid-project I stop and start another one. Why? I don't know. It's the way my brain works. Um, and then it takes me, like, a year to get back to the original project to finally, like, fucking finish it. But I just got a lot of shit laying around. I keep slurring my words really bad. I can't tell if it's because my mouth's dry or if I have a swollen lip. I know it sounds weird that I wouldn't know if I had a swollen lip, but it feels weird. Um, but yeah, so I got to clean up my garage and then my room. But my room's going to be a lot easier than my garage. I got a lot of shit back here. I'm just pretty much all going to put it into a box. So that way, when I get my house... And move into my fucking house and like without having to be like, no, I gotta pay. Um, and mainly also because unfortunately, if you don't live in Ohio, you are very lucky. And if you live in Ohio, then you actually, I, I'm going to give you a shout out real quick, Sonny, because I literally thought of you as soon as I started talking about that. You should feel special. Um, Sonny is a YouTube subscriber of mine who is very nice and likes to comment a lot and follows me on Instagram and stuff. It's he's cool. But anyways. He has only lived in Ohio for like a year. So like he's still expect he doesn't know what he's actually walking into right now. But uh but anyways, if uh if you're from Ohio and you know what's coming, then you know that in unfortunately probably like two I'd say two months minimum Two and a half um, probably would be more realistic until we have white stuff all over the ground, which makes me oh, depressed. I hate snow so much. And I'm not trying to move into a house when there's snow on the ground. Like, I mean, I would if I had to, but, like, I'm going to try to get a house now and move in before the fucking snow hits. But it's all right. Like I said, life goes on. We will figure this out. I, uh, supposed to go look at this farm. I would just keep saying farm. People are like, dude, this dude's buying a farm. But no, it's like, it's like a small farm. You know, it's only got 13 acres, which, I mean, I, know, I understand acreage in the sense of, I know that 13 is big enough to have fun on, but it's not like, huge, you know, like, I'm not a millionaire, I can't afford a farm farm, it's got a barn, and it's got a place where horses were, and it's got some woods, and a house, and a big backyard, 14 acres, it's kind of cheap, and, uh, uh, you know, it's within, it's, well, it's actually kind of way under what my loan even told me I could take for, so I was like, Kind of want to, and then on top of that, which I may, I'm going to say this, and I don't, you know, I don't know, because I'm, I'm only so much an adult, you know, I can't adult too much, because I haven't had experience with all the adulting stuff, but, dude, like, I at first was like, oh man, I saw the property tax on it, it was like $3,800 a year, and I was like, oh my god. God, I gotta pay like four grand just to fucking own the property. Like, that's bullshit. But then everybody I tell that to is like, dude, that's cheap as shit. And then I find out that my parents pay almost $2,000 a year on property taxes. 
And we have, like, an eighth acre or something. Like, it's beyond tiny, you know? Um, which, I mean, realistically, I still got a decent backyard at my house here. But, uh, I mean, it's not huge. But, I mean, for a kid to grow up in, it's, like, plenty enough. I did it perfectly fine. It was cool. You know, it's not like I had just this tiny little strip. I have a backyard and a front yard. But... You know, like I said, I literally think it's like an eighth of an acre. And that's really small when you think about the fact that this property I'm looking at is at 14. So, I don't know. If I bought it, I would be extremely happy because my my head makes me want to live in the house. I want to build a log cabin in the woods in the back uh, that might end up being my house. And then I could just... Cut the yard, cut the yard really short in the backyard, and uh, sell the house then, and then live in the, in the log cabin. And I don't just mean like a shitty log cabin; like I want a nice log cabin, um, all hand built because I, I've been training myself to build a log cabin for the last like five years of my life, and. Um, yeah, so I'm to totally down and ready for that. But obviously, that's something that's going to take some time. Um, it realistically, you know, they're going to make a 30-year mortgage because that's what everybody does. But it's like, I could pay it off before 30 years. Like, it's really not a lot of money. And that's the kind of scary thing, and that's why I really need to go see the fucking house because it's like, Something's got to be up. Like, I mean, it's cheap and not cheap, but, like, it's just, it's just something. Something's got to be up with it. So, uh, but, yeah. That's, like, my game plan. On top of, obviously, owning lots of toys, because I already own toys now. But, um, you know, I want to have enough toys that people can come over and not bring their toys, but play with my toys, and we can go out, like, ride four-wheelers and dirt bikes and all that stuff, because 14 acres is definitely big enough to put some trails through. Like, that's that's that. Uh, I don't really know what else to explain an acre of, like, what what an equivalent acre is. To be like this is what this property would be size wise. But like I said, it ain't too big. It ain't too small. It's like perfect for what I want. I would totally become a farmer and have to start growing some shit. Just mainly because uh, it saves a lot of fucking money on food. When you grow like all your vegetables. To bolt. I murdered that word with having no teeth in so that's one of those two plus tuesday words that we're gonna have to forever remember that vegetables vegetables veg i can't i mean it kind of sounds right but it's not vegetables i'm i'm growing my own vegetables and uh uh and on top of that not that I'd sell to my friends and be like a dick about it, but you know, I don't think I'd sell some of that shit on the side to my friends and stuff. Like, yo, bro, you want that corn, bro? I got that corn, bro. And, uh, and make a little money. And I just pretty much use all that money toward, uh, property taxes. Because I got $4,000 worth of those. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go on this Toothless Tuesday. Um,. I know that I've just been rambling a lot about stuff in my life. But, um, I'm really surprised my camera's been recording for the last 14 minutes. Because I have a really long video that's supposed to be going up soon. So, I'm going to go. And if you like the video, like would be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, you should subscribe to keep up with awesome content. And if you are a part of the channel, you can share the video to other people. How awesome this Tuesday, Tuesday is, and just watch. I'm serious. Now people are probably going to blow up the dislikes, but just watch, because I'm not even kidding. It will be like tomorrow, and I'll have one dislike, and then that will be it. No one else will dislike it. Everybody else will be like, this is a good video. And this one person, I know who you are, but that one person is just like, nah, bruh.
I like all your other shit, but this. I don't like your Tootla Tuesdays. I don't like when you take your teeth out of your mouth. Well, guess what? You're gonna have a fucking deal with it. Hi, guys.